Deep within California's ancient redwood forest, a team of scientists led by the intrepid biologist Fiona Caldwell made a remarkable discovery inside the colossal trunk of the world's largest tree. As their drills resonated through the bark, they uncovered a hidden chamber that held something far beyond their imagination. What they found was so astonishing that it had the potential to alter the course of American history. Biologist Fiona Caldwell had always loved plants and animals. So when the government asked her and her team to check on one of the oldest and largest trees in the world, she couldn't say no. Even though it was just a routine check, she and her team were excited to see the tree. Not knowing what they might discover, they all met at the entrance of the forest. This was a special trip, and the rangers had closed off this part of the forest so Fiona and her team could work without anyone watching or bothering them. While she didn't mind if they found something interesting, it was good that the area was secure. The group drove into the forest in vans filled with equipment. They needed to bring everything to study the tree properly. The tree they were going to examine was very old, and Fiona imagined it had seen many incredible things. She hoped the tree would share some of its history with them. It didn't take them long to arrive at the tree. It certainly couldn't miss it. Though this type of tree was well known in the redwoods, this sukhoi oh, was the largest of them all. The width of the tree was astonishing, and one shouldn't even get started on its length. Dr. Fiona felt giddy. She was going to study this monstrosity, and she had no clue what strange things her studies would uncover. They began their examination at the front of the tree and were disturbed by the sight of damage from recent storms affecting nearby trees. Initially, the tree they intended to study appeared fine, but they had yet to inspect the back. It was a mistake not to conduct a perimeter check but the scientists quickly set to work gathering samples from the impressive tree. While its high branches made it impossible to collect larger leaves, they managed to obtain samples from the bark, roots, and fallen leaves. Dr. Fiona had been busy with it all when she suddenly heard a gasp. One of her scientists, Dr. Wells, had decided to walk around the trunk to see if any tiny branches had sprouted on the other side. Some trees would do that if a sapling merged with a larger tree. Instead of finding what she was looking for, she stumbled upon something very concerning. Dr. Wells immediately called for Dr. Fiona Caldwell, who curiously made her way to the back of the tree. As soon as she arrived, a gasp escaped her throat. She cursed as she saw the large gash in the trunk. This must have been caused by the storm. Trees around the Sokwoi uh, had fallen all around it. Something definitely must have happened here. She tried to think about what disaster had occurred. Had the storm been so severe that it could have damaged this tree or possibly destroyed it? A tree that had stood for thousands of years. Dr. Fiona couldn't believe it. This couldn't just be the result of a storm. She knew there must be another reason, one that would truly shock her. She quickly gathered her colleagues on the much less disturbed side of the tree. When they came into proximity of the gash, most of them took a sharp intake of breath. Everyone feared for the tree's health. They had to patch up this tree, or it could possibly fall and soon be no more. Dr. Fiona and Dr. Wells started their work gathering samples of the tree sap exuding from the gash. They had to ensure that the tree was still healthy and could continue its growth. The gash in the tree started wide but narrowed as it went deeper. At the end, Dr. Fiona discovered a sleek white object that seemed to be absorbed by the tree. Concerned about contamination, she decided to take a sample and have Dr. Wells photograph it. Knowing she needed help to solve this mystery, she contacted top experts in archaeology, paleontology, and dendrochronology to join her investigation in the redwood forest. Together, they set up a well-equipped research camp near the giant Sequoia, turning the remote area into a hub of scientific exploration focused on uncovering the secrets within the tree. The arrival of the experts in various scientific disciplines infused the camp with a palpable sense of anticipation and skepticism. Each brought their unique perspective, eager yet cautious as they stepped into the unknown, ready to explore a mystery that had lain dormant for centuries within the ancient Sokwaya. Gathering around the giant tree, the new team members shared their initial impressions and theories, their voices a blend of awe and analytical skepticism. Some hypothesized about the tree's age and the possible significance of the bones, while others pondered the implications for the understanding of regional natural history. With a collective sense of purpose, the team prepared for a thorough analysis of the Sokwaya and its concealed mystery. Their approach was methodical, ensuring the integrity of both the tree and the enigmatic object within as they poised themselves on the brink of possibly rewriting a chapter of natural history. 
As they carefully examined the white object, it became evident that it was a series of bones, each intricately entwined within the tree's ancient fibers. This discovery set off a flurry of speculation among the team, with each member proposing different theories about the origin and nature of these mysterious bones. Around the campfire, the team debated whether the bones belonged to an ancient extinct animal, a human ancestor, or something entirely unknown, challenging their understanding of the forest's history. Initial analyses of the bones were inconclusive, deepening the mystery beneath the towering sequoia. As they studied the tree's rings, they found unusual growth patterns linked to a significant historical event, suggesting the bones had become part of the tree's story. Archaeologists and paleontologists fiercely debated their origins, with some believing they belonged to a prehistoric creature and others speculating about a human connection. Despite their efforts, the team found no clear answers, leaving the mystery unresolved. Dr. Fiona, recognizing the potential for public unrest, decided to quarantine the area. Strict protocols were enforced, and access was restricted to essential personnel to maintain secrecy. The team disguised their work as a disease prevention study to avoid media scrutiny. The decision to withhold their findings created internal tension. Some team members questioned the ethics of concealing such a groundbreaking discovery. As secrecy weighed on them, rumors of an ancient virus began to spread, sparking fear and curiosity in nearby communities. Media outlets seized on the rumors, crafting sensational stories of a virus unleashed from the ancient tree. Public interest soared, fueled by a mix of intrigue and fear. The escalating media frenzy attracted the attention of government agencies, increasing pressure on the team. Their secluded research camp became a hub of inquiries as they tried to protect their discovery on managing external demands. Amid swirling rumors and sensational reports, public fear grew over the possibility of an ancient virus emerging from the centuries-old tree. Environmental groups raised concerns about the risks of disturbing the fragile forest ecosystem, worried that the team's actions could lead to irreversible damage. Radiocarbon dating revealed the bone's astonishing antiquity, though their precise origin remained a mystery. This revelation added to the enigma deepening the intrigue surrounding the Sokoi as hidden history. The team faced a moral dilemma. Should they extract the bones for further study or preserve the ancient tree that had safeguarded these relics for centuries? Some argued that protecting the Sokoi as integrity outweighed any potential scientific gains, viewing it as a living monument to history. This divide caused friction among team members as they struggled to reconcile their commitment to scientific discovery with their responsibility to preserve the tree. The tension underscored the difficulty of balancing progress with respect for nature. As rumors and fears spiraled, Dr. Fiona decided it was time to go public. She believed transparency was the only way to dispel myths and provide clarity. The team worked meticulously to prepare for a press conference, aiming to communicate their findings with accuracy and integrity. At the press conference held in the shadow of the ancient Sokoya, Dr. Fiona and her team addressed the media. They explained the bone's prehistoric origins and dismissed the rumors of virus, emphasizing the scientific significance of their discovery while quelling public fears. The announcement sparked mixed reactions. Many were relieved there was no virus, while others were intrigued by the discovery's implications for natural history. Some remained skeptical about the investigation's broader impact. Ultimately, the team revealed that the bones belonged to an unknown prehistoric species, sending shockwaves through the scientific community and raising new questions. This finding suggested the Sokoi uh, might be older than previously thought or that certain prehistoric creatures had survived longer than believed, challenging established timelines. The discovery excited researchers across disciplines, opening new avenues for understanding Earth's prehistoric life and reshaping humanity's grasp of the natural world.